How about where you are with your pass rush right now, and especially with your down linemen? Well, well the, the defense as a whole, you know, for, for the last uh, – Ten quarters have, has played well for us, you know. They have, they have a lot of touchdown in the last ten quarters, so, they, so so that's been outstanding, you know. And the defense gave us some chances early on in, in the season, you know. But but we were to turn the ball over at such a high rate, you know, it's still hard to to, to win games. And in your defense, it, 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 rushing a passer when you're playing from from behind, it's hard to rush a passer. And we've been playing from behind most of most of the season, so it's hard. I'm not making any excuse of them. We do have to play uh, better, rush the passer better, and and we have done of late, uh, you know. Uh, Against Minnesota, we we didn't have a lot of sacks in the game. I think we had one sacks, but we hit the quarterback 16 times. And last week, you know, I think we ended up with four sacks. And you know, you know, you got to chase the quarterback off the spot. So the defense is starting to to get some momentum, and and they, so so I'm happy to see that. But we have not rushed the passer like we, like we're used to doing up here. And uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, it, you know that that'll continue to build. At, at, you know, at, on this two game winning streak here, we, we have and and to get our pass rushers going and our defense to keep humming like it's it's, it's been playing the last couple of weeks. We're talking with Jerry Reese as the Giants have played better, but the uh, obviously caught a little bit of a break with the quarterback play against them, which was not stellar, but again, they have played well the last two weeks uh, uh, on defense and getting wins, and now they'll get ready to play Oakland, and then, of course, Aaron Rodgers and the Cowboys the week after that, so a lot coming up in the next couple of weeks for the Giants. Jerry, when you um, look at some of these guys, especially JPP, uh, can he get back to a level, if not as at the top of his game, at least where he's making a difference, or are the injuries just such that they it's going to take him a year to get himself back to where we're used to seeing him play? Well, we're sure hoping that that he can continue to 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 come on. You know, you know, obviously he had the back surgery in the off season, and uh, you know, just look at him physically, you, know, you, you wouldn't think. But when you watch the film and watch him play, he hasn't been the same player that we that we've seen in the past. Uh, I, I think he's still, you know, coming back a little bit fr- from the back, and uh, you know, he, he's a, he's a prideful player, and he wants to play well for us. And uh, you know, hopefully this bye week will give him a, a little breather, and he can come back and and, and play strong and and uh, give us that, that ferocious pass for us that we're used to seeing from him. That's a bit, you know, 16 sacks two years ago, one sack this year. That's a big difference on a ball club, you know. Sure, it is. sure, it's a big difference. But but again, you know, the, the sacks don't come when you're playing from behind, you know, because teams have all their bells and whistles. You can't make them one dimensional. When, when when you get sacks, when you make a team one dimensional, where, where they're playing catch up and they have to throw it, and you can turn those guys loose, up, you know, turn them loose up front. That's when you know teams get sacks. Uh, so, but it's so it's but it's hard to to uh, to rush a passer when you know they're playing from ahead and they can do whatever they want to with their offense. And talk about one dimensional and two dimensional. As we get towards November here, and the weather changes and the wind whips up, and uh, obviously that becomes an issue. And also just to balance off the attack to give you a, a better chance to use that good passing game. Uh, can you get enough out of this running game this year? Can you get enough healthy backs and enough uh, enough from the offensive line and the tight ends to get uh, a semblance of a solid running game the rest of the way here? Well, I think so. We, we, we flashed that and we started to see a little bit of, you know, the running game start to, to come alive a little bit, uh, the, you know, the last couple of weeks. You know, we, we actually, even before that, even, even the Chicago game, Brandon came in there and he rushed the ball really well. And uh, we, we get into the Minnesota game and Hillis has come in and Cox has, you know, done a couple of things as a young kid. But Hillis has come in and gave us, you know, a powerful runner back there. And, and we're going to get Andre Brown back after the after the bye. So I expect our, our offensive line to continue to jail with the new players that we've, we've had to infuse in there and, uh, you know, help our running game. You have to have something. You have to have – if you're getting three yards, three yards really is a good play in the National Football League these days, you know, because you got to have – you know, run the ball. you got to balance up. you got to run the ball. You can't ask your quarterback, even if he's a 10-year veteran like Eli is, you can't ask him to throw the ball 50 times a game. So uh, – you know, the, the more balance. The weather's going to start to get back. We have some big backs, you know, coming back in in, in our lineup, and uh, I expect us to be able to run the ball and have a have a balanced attack moving into the the second half of the season. Did you did you hear from a lot of folks as far as trades, or was it? I know you didn't make one, but is it was it quiet or was it uh, kind of busy? But you just decided not to make one. Well, well, we're always looking. You know, when, before the trade deadlines up, you know, how can we make a trade? You know, we. we we made a little trade there. We we, we traded for Beeson, and he's coming right. here. He's coming here and and, and helped, uh, you know, stabilize our defense. You know, the, the guy he, he has he had the voice that we were looking for, and 
So we, we were able to trade for him, and he, he's done a nice job and, and, and helped our defense out. Uh, but on, on the trade front, really, you know, people have talked about Knicks. There's been a lot of ch- chatter about Knicks. And yep. I, I heard from people after that, you know, the, the, it was rumored that we were, you know, it's, whoever put it out there said we were rumored to be looking to trade Knicks. I got a couple of calls about Knicks, but uh, there wasn't really a lot of action going on with respect to, to trades.